long awaited room tour. As you guys know, I have moved, so everybody was asking for an updated office tour. Nothing's different. I pretty much set up all of the furniture and stuff the same as in the old office. Some things, of course, had to move around, but as far as the desks go, those are in the same position. Here's my washi wall. I am actually filming this for the second time. I have the curtains open because the first time I filmed it was just so dark and I couldn't even get the brightness to change or anything like that. So hopefully with the curtains open it will help a little bit. And also in the first one I had the fan going and when I would stand under it just like I am now all you could hear was the fan. So here's the overview of the room and I'm going to go into detail or not too much detail but every little section of the room. I thought it would be fun for you guys to guess how many single rolls of washi tape that I own. I have a lot. I even counted every single single roll in those tubes. So single rolls of washi, you guys can guess how many I have down below in the comment section. I will let you know once I have finished showing you guys the entire collection, then you can pause the video, make your guess down below and see who's right. This is all for fun. It was it took a really long time to count, but yeah, I'll let you know when I have shown every single washi tape that I own. Alright, starting on this side up there, I just have a big tassel banner. That's what it looks like there. I believe it's from a shop called Shop Tassel Love. I'll find the link and I'll put that down below in the description bar. There's going to be a glare because again, the windows is open, but I actually need it open. But up there, I just have a dream a picture frame right below that I have all of my silhouettes some of them aren't named I got lazy after a little while after having to change some of them out and they are just sitting on this sh it's actually a shoe shelf got it from a local uh, hardware store but I'm sure you can find these anywhere so I just have those sitting there right on top I have my coral flowers I love coral in the vase that was so hard to find from the Target one spot a Project Life card says never grow up. I bought a Project Life kit specifically for this card. Pretty ridiculous, but I wanted it. Moving down, I just have this container here and help. And it holds all of these paper clips that I use to hold open my silhouette covers because I do like to keep them covered. I just have some random boxes here. A mug that just says in case of emergency ring bell for coffee the bell doesn't work the kids broke it down below I just have a candle that I cannot handle when it's lit so literally when I want to smell maple cinnamon pancakes I just open the lid and I'm good to go I have some old sticker paper here that I could probably get rid of but it's been sitting there for a long time I have my cutting mats and then over here since we moved I found the monkeys CDs I don't know if you guys know who the monkeys are but I used I used to love them I still love them I used to watch their show all the time I thought it was hilarious and I found all of their CDs so that is just stacked there and do you see right right there and that is the cutting all right next section is the desk there's an overview of it and also the shelves up there, so let's get it. Alright, so starting above the desk, I just have these picture frames. I have a Cheshire Cat, a Mary, and then that one is a card that was so sought after in the dollar spot. So I have that up there. The next one, I have a Project Life card on top of a Target One Spot clipboard, a Gold Digger mug, and just these lip gloss and lotion owls from Forever 21. And this bottom shelf just has the EXO glitter wood thing from the Target Dollar Spot. Yet another treasure cat. And this one is, it says, it's a latte work being a girl boss. I found that on Etsy. I'll leave that link down below. And I just have my Mickey foil quote right here that I made myself. So that is the shelves up above the desk. Moving down, I just have my desktop. Normal stuff that's with that comes with the desktop. My license plate right here i just have my planner so this is a kiki k planner in here i just keep everything etsy related business related i have a deluxe monthly calendar from erin condren that i was using as like a pre-planning thing but it just wasn't working I just have a random may designs book my personal planner right now is in the Philofax. it has a bill things trip planning things and i think like online purchases that's all that's in there for now Right here, I just have this Target cup with all of my pens in it. This one it pretty much just has all of my Disney pens, and then it has the pen that I'm currently using for the week. 
moving on i'm going to move out of the shadow moving on right here i just have my planner i keep it open half at a time and it's just sitting on top of this acrylic stand today is currently wednesday the 17th can you see that i'm going to be filming that right after this even though you're going to see this video way after you see the plan with me for that but that's that i have my other computer again sorry for the glare i need the windows open though this is my other computer so my desktop computer it mainly i just use it for cutting and editing videos and then this one is browsing the internet playing on youtube and then designing so that's that this xoxo i believe is from either target not target tj maxx or ross i'm not too sure and i just have the entire computer sitting on one of those like shelf risers or computer risers stand risers i don't know what it is just so it's a little bit higher next to that i just have some random coasters my mouse pad is actually from erin condren this is one of my favorite prints the blossom print I always have my hourly on my desk, although I haven't been using it this week. I've just kind of been winging it and I have been actually for the few, first few weeks. I When I do have a lot to do though, I like to use this as a checklist pretty much. I ignore the times and I literally just, oops, I literally just draw boxes and then check off my to-do list and whatever I don't get done on this day, then I can move it over here and things like that. Under that, I just have this um, file folder because it has all of our San Francisco trip planning stuff in that. So I keep that on the desk so I can keep that going. I always have a notepad. I always have a sticky note. And then I always use a pen gem when I'm writing in here or any notes that I'm writing. And I try to change this out every single week just because I have a lot and to use them all. Next to that, just have my phone sitting there for now. This is a candle holder. I'm just using it to store my remote and my TV remote, cable remote, and then my Blu-ray remote, and then a lighter for a candle that's usually sitting on my desk. Right here is a huge stack of stock. I'm trying to prep for a sale that I'm going to be running and I am a ready to ship shop. So I try to get as much prepped as possible. The shop was pretty empty before I started. So I really had to beef everything up. So that's just sitting there. I need to file those away. Uh, really soon above that I just have my print uh, what I use for my business card I could have printed it really pretty which I should that looks really plain and boring but it is what it is for now next I just have this cork board with a whole bunch of random things on it this is from the same place that I got the mug another treasure cat Tinkerbell pin a once more with love pin I just hand lettered the happiest place on earth notepad shaka clip writer with some lensless sunglasses um at this pin right here i haven't made page planks in forever but i kept up there some random cards a random project life card that i made or a journaling card another shaka clip more pins a random destiny doodle and this one was actually a magnet and i just glued a push, push pin on to turn it into a push pin and then just this little picture frame here it just says hakuna matata because every little thing is going to be all right i've always had that on my personal instagram bio and i don't know i just decided to make a print of that and that is pretty much the top of the desk now we'll go under the desk and show like the boring part okay so now i'm sitting on the floor that is the other part of the desktop i don't know what that's called and then some messy cords <laughs> underneath. I just have the Cricut and a cable box and a Blu-ray player that doesn't even have a shelf. So it literally just sits there. It's my feet warmer when I get really cold on the, this side. Just has my laser printer that I print like invoices and stuff with. It's sitting on a two cube shelf thing. My color printer, ink under there. And then I have some paper trimmers, invoice paper, shipping labels, boring stuff under there. And in these binders, as you can tell, what's in the first three, these are anything that's new that's coming out. So I keep all of the decorate like me kits in here, $2 Tuesday stuffs, limited edition. So anytime I cut the stock, I stick them in these binders. And then these three house anything new that's coming into the shop on the following Sunday. Once that Sunday passes, then I'll empty them out into where they belong, and those will be good to go for the next Sunday. So that's underneath the desk, nothing ex 
So next we have the washi shelf. I used to have like washi going all the way across the top, but I had to make another shelf because I got so much more washi. But this is the washi shelf. My hubby and my husband, no, my hubby and my husband, my hubby and my dad made it for me. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's not color coordinated. I have another section that is color coordinated inside of drawers. But up here, let's just go an overview. I have like food on the top shelf, animal stuff, glitters, foiled stick foiled stickers foiled washi tape on these three rows the first four rows on this side is actually florals and then the four bottom ones are all disney washi tapes so i i love disney up there's just my paperclip garden and then the tall tubes of washi sit up there so that is the washi shelf that's an overview and that's not all of it Moving on to this desk right here. This is where I film and also package orders. So let's jump right in. Hopefully the lighting stays okay. So back there, I just have some tools, scissors, paper cut, not paper cutter, uh, box opener, uh, hole punches, things like that. I have this right here. It's an X cube that I found on Amazon. I'll find it and leave a link down below, but it holds all of my pens. Cheshire Cat is sitting on top. So yeah, that's all of my pens. I don't really have anything new since I've filmed my favorite pens video. That's pretty much all of the same. Right here, I just have a stack of Once More With Love sticky notes and notepads because my friend just purchased them for me and I sh just gave them to me and I don't know where to put them yet. So that's just stacked there. In here, I have my iPad, my Mombi sticker book, a Target One Spot notepad that I use for pre-planning, and then here, this is the same brand as the X-Cube over there. It just has drawers. The top has all of my page flags, the ones that I used to make. It has some Target ones and then some random ones in the back. Next is like, I think these are all like Hawaii sticky notes in this drawer right here. Next one, I just have a traveler's notebooks thing. So this is the washi tape that I'm going with for San Francisco. I have my minis back there and then I have that clip there. This drawer holds all of my current and future EC spread stuff. So when I take the pictures, then I put everything in this drawer. Right next to that, I have my traveler's notebook, a lamp. I always keep my sunglasses here. I don't know why, but I do. Underneath has my tripod that I use more like a selfie stick, my GoPro. Oh, Ancestry Dini. I was supposed to do that a long time ago. Maybe I should do that soon. Um, back here, I just have these little bins full of like, this one just has like glue and staples. I don't even know what's in these ones. Oh, Kyla's hole punch. I need a uh, corner rounder. I need to give her that. That just has camera stuff. Nothing exciting. And what else? More junk back there. This is all of my stamps that I use to stamp the mailers or the shipping labels. Another treasure cat coasters and then also a notepad and then the ribbon to tie up your orders in here i just have all of my stickers i kind of showed this in the disney cars plan with me i made a sticker book instead of using the binders or sticker box instead of the binders it's so much easier to use i just cut up some scrap paper put some tabs on or cut some tabs out of cardstock washi tape them on and now i can just flip through and find a sticker a hundred times easier, a hundred times faster to actually plan now. Another treasure cat. In here I just have the month's freebies, some scissors, my business cards, and then down here I just have this huge paper clip that I use to hold down the tissue paper when I'm trying to wrap orders. Moving along, coloring book, my hubby's invoice book, and then I just have this sparkle and shine project life card. This Aulani Mickey Ears ornament that was supposed to go in with our Disney, um, or not our Disney, our Christmas box, but it didn't make it in there. Underneath I have another X-Cube holding my friction pens, G2s, and then these markers which I use to write on your orders. I have my LG Pocket Photo printer down there. My coaster, the real boss, and this glittery one from, where's that, Target? Moving along, I have my pen gems collection. I, they look super shiny because the window is open. The window is never open, but that is my collection there. I just put them in two of the actual pen gems acrylic cups. This XOXO is from, I think this one's from Ross. And right next to that, I just have a whole bunch of little 
Okay, not a whole bunch. Just two charms, two pen gems, paper clips, and some extra clips there. This is usually full of um, washi tape that I use for the mailers, but that's pretty empty. I have my Planner Society washi tape in this drawer, as well as this drawer has the Planner Society washi tape. The bottom one is holding all of my future spreads that I'm going to be using in my EC. I try to pre-plan spread as much as possible or pull themes as much as possible so when I go to create a kit or decide what I'm going to use for the week, I have options all ready to go. Underneath, nothing exciting. There's a trash can. Underneath, that's just holding mailers, which I think it's empty right now. Um, tissue paper, and that is pretty much it for this desk right here. Moving along to the couch. This is my couch. It's actually a purple couch that I have covered right now. I've had this purple couch forever since high school. I'm never getting rid of it, but that is all that I have on here. The two black pillows are from Walmart. The two rose gold pillows are from Target. I think they were selling them in the dollar spot, and that one right there is from Zoomies. Right on top of my couch, I have my Cheshire Cat. It's the one with a super long tail that I have tucked under there. That pillow my friend made me for, I think it was like a Christmas Secret Santa or maybe it was my birthday, I'm not too sure. Another pink pillow right there and my poop emoji or frosting emoji with a bow on top. And my Erin Condren blanket. Okay, somebody, somebody tell me, is this black? Let me pull back. Is this black? This is black. They kept telling me that no, this is black because I thought it was like a misprint or something like that but apparently this is what they consider black so yeah, that that's black. This is like gray but they told me this was black. Whatever they say I guess goes. Their picture showed completely otherwise. But yeah, that is the couch. Moving on to the next section. All right, so if you step away from that section and look up on the wall, the lighting might go pretty wonky, but let's see if I can get it to be a little bit better. There we go. Hopefully it stays like this. All right, so right above, I have yet another washi shelf that has all of the tube washi. I'm a bit insane, I know, but those are all of the tubes that I own there. I'm afraid to take them out of the tubes. I really don't want to, but yeah, that is that shelf. I'll see if I can get a very big overview because it does pretty much span the entire space of the window. Yeah, not happening. You can kind of see the tube sitting up there, but in the frame right now is pretty much it goes end to end where you're looking at right now. So yeah, lots of washi and there's more. Moving on to the section next to the window. I just have this shelf up here. Another little Project Life card thing, a tumbler that says coffee and confetti, and the Hawaii, I don't think they're both Hawaii, but the Lilo and Stitch, not Lilo and Stitch, Stitch and the other character, I don't know her name, is sitting up there, and then the Mickey and Minnie, I think like vacation set or something like that. Another little quote thing, it says, let's do this. That one says dream big, and that mug right there is from Disneyland. It's the 60th anniversary mug, I think. It has like the characters they go from like black to white to color it's pretty cool next i have this dvd shelf right here i turned it into a planner shelf as you can see right here i just have a print that a lovely planner buddy sent me i love it she knew that i loved alice in wonderland and cheshire cat and she sent that to me and ever since she sent it it's been sitting i know there's a glare it's been sitting in this frame i have this cheshire cat it's a like a drink cup it's from Japan. I had to get it. It was really expensive, but it's Cheshire Cat. Down below, I have on the first shelf, these are all Kate Spade personal size planners. This one is from Kmart Australia, and this is a Kiki K. Next shelf, this is a Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. I don't know. This is like another style Traveler's Notebook. Um, this is from, I think, Samantha Thavasa or something like that. And then a Planner Society planner, another one of these pocket size, I don't know what they're called, dories, I think. And then three pocket planners here. The sun just went behind a cloud, so now it got dark. 
down here I just have three Target Dollar Spot binders and the Mary Poppins book. This has hoarded stickers in there. This one has kits and then I think this one has other shops kits. So that's that. Down below I know it's super dark but these are just, well this is a happy planner. I have the Lux planner, the one that doesn't have a removable cover. I have, I don't know, horizontal I think. This one is, what is this? Oh, all of my planner covers, two notebooks, and then just a thing of pencils down there. So that is what is on the DVD shelf. Now we're going to move into the closet. Alright, so here is the closet overview. This side did have doors, those same exact doors, but I didn't need them. I wanted it open. So took the doors off, put a tension rod up, and then just draped it with curtains so it kind of looks prettier. Up above, I have my XO Mama Plans wooden sign. This is, I think this was a gift from the hubby Valentine's Day last year or the year before. I'm not too sure, but that's up there. And then, yeah, my, my door always stays open, so that's why I didn't need that open. Plus, there's a lot of, like, junk in there, except something special behind that door. But we're going to go into this side first, so let's take a closer look. All right, hopefully the lighting's not too bad. It's definitely a lot better as I'm looking through the, the screen. It's a lot better than my last video that I filmed. The last one was a lot darker and I even feel this is dark. But inside the closet, I'd have Destiny's washi rainbow that she made a long time ago. And then this picture here she drew when she was like obsessed with Moana. She's still obsessed, but guys, look at that. Do you guys know who that is? It's Hey Hey. So silly, she drew Hey Hey and of course, Moana's canoe up there or on this shelf slash drawer thing. This is from Amazon. I don't know if they have any more left because I went to go look again. I didn't see any, but if I can, I'll find the link and put it down below. So it does come with two more drawers, but I didn't need that many. So I use the top as a shelf going into the top. Oh, I should turn these on. Oh, well. Up top, I just have the Eiffel Tower that is from Ross. I have another one of those vases with just some lilies inside, a rock right here, or what are those called? I don't even know what those are called. Anyways, a Hello Gorgeous mug, another print right there just says XOXO and M, and a globe, which is cool because it has a whole bunch of stones inside. It's really pretty. Down below, another Project Life card clipped to a Target One Spot clipboard. More of these stones right there. I have a Chambord liqueur bottle. If you guys would like to know what my favorite liqueur is, it's Chambord. I mix it with 7-Up or Sprite. It's called the Chambord 7. Whoa, I just knocked everything down. Let's put that back. Um, it's called Shamboard 7. I love it. They don't have these bottles anymore. I'm so glad I saved them because of the crown. They're very plain now, but I just keep that there. Yet another Cheshire Cat. This one is from uh, Disneyland. Behind it, I just have a pineal it's pineapple. It's actually a candle. Project Life cards. A little trinket dish. This is a planner that I lay down stickers in and just test stickers. It's pretty full already. I just got this recently from Target. It's not from the dollar spot, it's from where their other mini binders are, but it was my favorite color. And it has gold foiled pineapples on it. Underneath, I just have some paper clips. These are my large Disney paper clips. A pen thing, or it's not even a pen thing, it's for wine, but I use it as a pen thing. It says keep calm and plan on. I have all of my pretty pens inside of there, mostly Planner Society and some other pretty pens. More trinket trays. And then in here, in these drawers, I store all of my shop's stock, so I am ready to ship, so anything that you see in my shop is on hand. This is what it looks like. I just cut up a whole bunch of ti Target tired. I was trying to say file. I don't even know what I was trying to say. But the Target dollar spot file folders, I just trimmed them all up, gave myself categories, and within those categories has these post-it tab thingy mabobbers. And I just keep all the stock in there. So I believe six of these drawers are full of stock. There's all the personal sized kits. These are all the decorate like me kits and anything holiday related. And then down below is all of the collections in alphabetical order to make it easy on myself. So yeah, nothing exciting in the bottom except for stuff to make more labels and files and things like that. 
So that is that shelf right there. I am out of breath. Let's move on to the next part. All right, the next section is right here. Here's an overview. Overview. These are storage carts I got from Amazon. They're the wider ones, I believe, than the normal ones that I do see. And there's also 10 drawers here instead of, I think the other one has 12 maybe. I don't even know, but they're a lot wider, so I do like those. Let's start at the top. Here's my hubby's Elevate High Enough to Touch the Sky. His company's name is Touch the Sky. Next, I have another card here in a picture frame. Below that, I just have this little, I don't even know what it's called, but it has a bunch of clips on it. It says, enjoy the little things. Pictures of Destiny and Jaden, my high school car, which I recently bought back probably a year ago. Another drawing here. Destiny's another doodle. I have my baby Groot here. He's so cute. He doesn't dance. The one that did dance and sing or play music, he didn't look as good as this baby Groot. So I went with the one that just stays there. Another Project Life card, another Cheshire Cat. I have my Disneyland ears here. This one's Cheshire Cat from, I don't know what the links, but I'll leave the link for this one. And then as well as this one, I have this Cars one because I love Cars Land. I love the Cars ride. Ryder loves Cars, so I bought those. I'll leave the link down below. I have a Disneyland globe, a Cheshire Cat notepad. Cheshire Cat is everywhere. I'm not kidding. And then I have this thing that was from Ross. It had Marilyn Monroe on it. I painted it with white acrylic paint and laid down some Disney washi tape. It has a bunch of Disney goodies in there. And then my Hakuna Matata, it means no worries, print right there. I think I got that from like Hallmark or something. On this side has another Cheshire Cat. It's the mug, a random, um, what is that called? Candle holding it up. And I have all my Target One Spot pencils and pens i'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to those i buy them all and never use them and i just have baby dory sitting right there and of course those are all sitting on top of the storage cart so inside the storage cart it has a lot of planning supplies when i mentioned in the earlier in the earlier part of this video that when i go through the drawers it's the last place that i have washi but i actually have washi in those boxes up there they're holiday themed i don't feel like going through it but just know that there is washi tape in those one of them is actually completely full of washi and then there's just some random ones in the other boxes that's holiday themed while i'm up here i might as well just tell you what's up here so I have those boxes they're photo boxes they're all holiday themed project life cards i don't even know what's in there scrapbook paper an alice and wonderland set from the disney store two planner society sub boxes i think those are the last two months i haven't put them away and then more project life cards and then i have these six cube shelves up there i have a silhouette that i think is broken I have shipping labels up there and then just pretty much tools and stuff, bins, extra bins and old planners up there. I will go into that when I open the doors and get in on the other side. But let's just drop back down to the storage carts. I'm just going to show you what's in each drawer. I'm not going to go into too much detail because that would take a long time. So this is Skinny Washi. It was organized a little bit better, but once I pull things out, I get irritated and I don't want to put things back. Another drawer of skinny washi, obviously not really organized too much, but that is that. This is called my biggie and mini drawer because it has all the fat washi and then the rolls that are kind of on the tinier side and I don't want to put on the washi shelf or there's not enough room. This is Kyla's little bin of washi tape. She was planning out her spreads because I'm going to be gone and she wanted to make sure she had her spreads good to go. This one always gets stuck because of the tube washi that's in there. More washi tape, newer stuff. Okay, maybe these are old. More future spreads that I have planned. And then this is pretty much newer washi that I just got recently that just is kind of hanging out in there. Next, I have my paperclip drawer. It's a big mess. I was going with a paperclip garden like you saw on my washi shelf, but then I got super lazy putting it away as usual, and now they just kind of lay in here. Next, I have sticky notes, page flags, and more sticky notes. That's pretty much what this whole drawer consists of. My notepad drawer. 
I de-stashed so much. I used, okay, these storage carts, I used to have three and they used to be so filled. I dropped it down to two and they're not even completely filled. So just a bunch of notepads from Target. These are all from Target. These are all journal books. So these are all from Target back here and then all of my random ones, made designs and other things are in the front. Next is just a big mishmash of stuff. Paper clips, push pins, paper clips, clips, just a bunch of random stuff. I think this one's also a mess. I don't even know. A duster, my planner travel bag, and some die cuts, and a random remote. I don't even know what for. I don't have a sharp TV anymore, so I don't know. Next storage cart. Now I'm on my knees, so now it looks a little bit lower. So this is where I do have things color coordinated. Um, this is pretty much just solid washing in different patterns. So this is the first drawer, the second drawer. I know I have a lot of washi. I love washi. This is a crazy pattern drawer. And then this is the last drawer of washi tape. So you can go ahead and make your guess now if you want to play along. Yeah. Next, I just have some doodle bug stuff. It's really random. I don't even know. Sure. Haven't gone there a while. This is my sticker drawer. It just has more Mombi sticker books and then a whole bunch of loose, like, quote stickers and a whole bunch of stickers. Stickers, stickers, stickers. This is another Disney goodies drawer. I just have, oh, look, more washi tape. Forgot about those, but I did count those. But yeah, it just has a whole bunch of Disney stuff. Disney sticky notes, Disney pens, Disney sticky notes. This is the decal for my car. I do like to switch it out kind of often. So I do have, what is that, three of them sitting here. And I'm afraid they're going to not sell them anymore. Sticky notes, stickers, washi tape, all that good stuff. This is the very messy Planner Society drawer because I was just setting up my traveler's notebook with Planner Society stuff. And that was the outcome of that drawer. And stuff that fell behind. Cricut mat, uh, foiling sleeves, and just a bunch of random junk in there. And this is a bunch of new stuff that I just got from Target and Erin Condren. And that is these storage carts. And that is pretty much this half of the closet. Last section is to open this closet door. Nothing. Okay, there is one exciting thing, but that's about it. All right, last section, this door right here. Right here, I just have... Kyla made me this. It's a Mickey pom-pom head in the Cheshire Cat stripes. And then I just have some pink poibles, because why not? Then, ta-da! I have my Zoom Zoom collection in here. In the other office, I had it out on the wall hanging, but this is a rental and I feel bad about poking holes in the wall, even though I know it can be patched. And there wasn't enough wall space in here, so they're in the closet. I feel like I should put them in the bedroom because it has more room, but then this space would just be super empty. But they would get looked at more if they were in my bedroom. Here I am thinking out loud. Up on the top, like I mentioned, there's just a bins. My sticker paper is behind those. Old planners, bins, uh, candles mailing supplies is in those two and then all my foil is up there i kind of gave up on foiling but yeah that's above the closet moving on to this side i have another little print there i have my you are here mugs hoy las vegas and san francisco i actually had this one sent to me by a friend down below i have my hustle sign i think this one is from ross i think but it's in there it's not even tacked to the wall or anything so it could probably fall at any time poster boards usps boxes a moving box and then sitting on top of my zoom zoom shelf i have the disneyland and california adventure you are here mugs i have the newest zoom zooms these two are scented if i close this long enough and when i open it it just overwhelms me with pineapple and coconut it smells really good two of Tum two tumblers. I think these are both from the 1407 planners. She gifted them to me. And then another Project Life card um, holder thing. And then I have all of my Zoom Zooms. They're kind of organized, kind of not. This one are all um, like special ones, so ride ones. So as you can see, Haunted Mansion. I have like Fantasyland uh, and I don't even know, Adventureland ones. 
I don't know, but they're all sitting in that section. Are these Pixar? I think these are all Pixar ones. I don't even know. Moana and Nightmare Before Christmas. I think these are more classics with the exception of uh, Frozen sitting up there. Random. No, not too random. They're all like with their movies though. And then that shelf. And then that one is pretty much all of the new stuff. No, that's Frontierland stuff. I don't even know how I organized it. But that is the Tsum Tsum shelves. Down here, uh, just ugly stuff. Paper, cardstock. My foilers down there. I, I need a stool in order to reach the top of the closet. I have ink. And then tissue paper, nothing exciting. Canvases, nothing exciting. And my punching bag gloves, punching gloves. What are those called? Boxing gloves. We do have a punching bag, but I haven't used those yet. So they just hang there for now. And that is that closet. See, sadly, they're always covered. So maybe I should move them into the bedroom. And then... Yeah, that is the closet section of the room. All right, I am much more satisfied with the outcome of this video. I couldn't help some of the lighting, but it was definitely better than the first one that I filmed. So again, this room is definitely smaller than my last office, but I feel like it's just enough space for what I need. The closet is huge, so that was a big help. As you guys know, before my closet was, I mean, my couch is actually in my closet. But yeah, that is an overview of the room. I don't see it changing anytime soon because one, I can't really move anything. Everything already has its place. So the next office tour you'll probably see is when we end up moving again. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. And thanks for coming in and visiting my office. I cleaned up just for you guys with the exception of that stack of stickers that shouldn't have been there. But I haven't left for my San Francisco trip yet prepping for a sale so yeah that is an overview of the room and i will catch you guys in my next one bye guys